All right, we are back with more Observer. And luckily today, it doesn't seem like Astronombot is going fucking nuts and posting continuously in Discord. Hey, Deceptive. So let's hit continue and get back to where we were. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, was, I was looking after the stream yesterday. I couldn't find any problems in the logic of Astronombot for those live notifications. Um, so I don't know what the fuck was going on. I, like, minorly rearranged some things, but, like, shouldn't have actually made any difference. And it doesn't seem to be acting up today. Uh, alright. Dan was making his way through the attic when suddenly the killer decided to strike. As a result, they both ended up falling down an old maintenance hatch. While Dan managed to survive, the killer was not so lucky. Tangled up in exposed wires, even his augmented body couldn't handle the voltage. Getting inside his head... Getting inside this head might prove more than anyone could bear, but it's also an opportunity to get some answers. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm like vaguely tempted to blame it on um, Twitch. That was a weird spot for that quick save to be. <laughs> like, it took me a second to figure out what I was even looking at there. Because, yeah, this is where we were. There's our dead man. Except, like, I guess... Yeah, I mean, I guess he's dead and he's just kind of... Like, he's still moving, though, is the thing. And it looks like he's breathing, but maybe it's just that he's being electrocuted? Or something? I don't know. Oh, I mean, but look, like, look at his, watch his head and his chest. Like, he's breathing. His arm is moving. But the, even the, yeah, no, even the cables are not moving. But, like, if we scan him, it says he's deceased. It says he's deceased, but so like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's like, I also just noticed that he has pointed ears. So I wonder if he like, and of course he has like fangs cause he was like role playing as a fucking werewolf. Ow, can I not get, get through that way? All right, so we had just gotten out here yesterday when we stopped. So we got a weird little radioactive door here, which is blocked. Can't quite see what's through there. I also don't exactly, like, because we came down from the attic, I guess. So I don't know exactly where we are. Wait, what was it? Prompt? Didn't a little prompt come up there? Like I could interact with something here? Yeah, they went all in on the, uh, on the mods for this guy. So we've got a nanophage thing here, which implies to me that probably, if I look, ooh, look at these big connector blocks. Uh, I'm guessing that if we go down here, we will find, oh wait, or maybe it's the other way. We'll find one of those, uh... oh yeah, it's probably just over here. Because I think this is a dead end. Yeah. The uh, body shunted out the generator. To get this door open, I gotta restore power. Okay. It's just weird. Normally, where there's one of these stickers, there's uh, there's one of the. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking around trying to figure out where that was, and it's like that's weird. Normally, there's one around, and it was just like kind of not exactly where I had looked. I thought that was an indicator saying it would either be down here or uh, or across the other way, but it was just kind of tucked away. I want to see these connectors from, like, the end. Uh, okay, it's kind of a little dark zone here. So, hypothetically... With that guy dead, we are no longer in danger here. And we are just trying to investigate at this point. 
how to get out of here, how to like deactivate the lockdown. Hypothetically, yes. Hypothetically speaking. Okay, so that looks like a generator control panel or something. I'm assuming all of these things are... Closed, but like, I mean, who knows, right? Okay, what do we got going on here? Control panel, power level. It's never that simple. Okay. Okay, do I need to go do something? Oh, I see, okay. Get those plugged in first. Jazzed you up so much. Yeah, this game is wild. Like, I, I love everything that it's doing. All right, can we just uh, do this now? No? What else can I interact with here? Uh, what are these? What are these? Okay. Uh, are these fuses? These look like there's like breakers and then fuses. Okay. The fuse is busted. I need to find a spare. Okay. Yeah. So weird. Uh, this isn't how. These work normally, but okay. Because norm, like these are breakers, and then they've got fuses in line with the breakers as well. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, so we got to find a replacement fuse. Okay, we got a little storeroom or something over here, probably. You. Aha. Uh, well, why is this like slightly too close to my face? Fuse 10 amp. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. So I can take one, one fuse. I mean, hypothetically, I suspect the game won't tell us this or allow us to do this, but, uh, Nope, that is not the correct one. <laughs> uh, like, hypothetically, it's too bad because I don't seem to be. It, I should be. Oh, I'm not on the right thing. Yeah, there we go. Um, I should be able to see what these are. 35 amp, yeah. And these ones will be the 10 amps or whatever. 20 amp, okay. Sure, whatever. Are they all 20 amps? Yeah. They should be, given that they're all appearing. This, okay, they're not. Obsessive. I just got an achievement. Uh, oh, oh, I see. Okay, so anyway, it's a 35 amp. Yeah, and they, they give you the opportunity here to just brute force it over this way, but... Uh, fuck off. There's a 10 amp. There's a 35 amp. 35 amp is probably the biggest one here. I'm assuming. 20 amp. Oh, interesting. They give they give you a a two out of two out of six chance. One and three. Oh wait, hold on. Are these actually the same? Yes, voltage six fifty. Uh, because if there was a bigger one, of course we could have hypothetically used a larger fuse. Oh, hello. Unless, of course, the <laughs> the game was like, oh, this wouldn't be very safe. Although I feel like that is not the kind of thing that concerns people of this universe. Alright. Boom. Oh, do I maybe... Oh, I, I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's kind of like... What? It's kind of a... Uh, Like a sort of a QTE? 
You kind of have to get the, pull them at the right times. Let's get out. <laughs> the entire setting. Yeah, it is. It really is. All right, we have brought power back online. Killer's Den is likely somewhere nearby. I have to find it and may hold the answers to what happened to Adam. Okay. Uh, okay. So, can we go through these doors now? No. Alright, we just have to go back to that other door and make our way th through. Gonna check these doors anyway, just in case. Because now that the power's back on, they could open, for all I know. Alright. So, where the fuck are we now? Are we in the basement? Did we fall all the way from the attic to the basement? I guess we did. Yeah. Oh yeah, also something I realized earlier. Hold on. I think I already got this. Oh no, I didn't apparently. Uh, something I realized earlier is we are indeed mole people. Um, in that sex bot dungeon, there was a, an account that I was trying to log into that I didn't have the password for. But what I realized was that I think that account was the same one that was up in the room, like in the actual apartment, where the password was uh, Jada. I think it was the same account name. I Man, are we in a different section of the basement maybe? I think we might be. So I might be able to log into that if we can find it again. What the fuck? Yeah, like like the world is so densely packed with with stuff. It it's like it's a fairly fairly small area, but like also it seems like every moment we're like delving into some new little corner of the world. So now we're in like the sewers even. Um It just like feels really good. Past there? No. Oh, hello. Another one of these cards. By cards, I mean like. Photo thing. Wait, what did it say there? Crushed during escape attempt. Upper body recovered. Cage with some birds in it. Dead birds. Long dead birds. Yeah. Flickering lights, huh? I feel like we're gonna flash in, flash into uh, like a a dream or something at some point here. And we just got a quick save. What am I looking at? Like, what is... What a place. Hard to believe anyone could live here. Got a computer down there. We got more masks. That's like the one that we saw in the dream. I don't think we saw this one. Weird that it's like closed on the back like that though. Hold on. 
Yeah, that one's normal. Why is this one so weird? A splicer, a lunatic, and a junkie. Perfect combo. Is this made of human flesh? Artificial leather lambskin. Okay. Regulated materials detected. Beryllium, copper, chrome, nickel. Clostridium, titani, bacterium detected. Uh, medical grade inhaler. Alright, let's look at his computer here. John Sebastian Ballard, the natural alternative. We talked to John Sebastian Ballard, CEO of Ballard Genetics and Augmentations, on the future of met, uh, personalized modification and the fear of change. Mr. Ballard, please call me John. John, let me present you a hypothetical situation. Let's say your son turns 18. He comes to you and says, Dad, I don't feel comfortable with my body. I'm going to go to the nice folks at BGNA and have them grow tentacles on my face. <laughs> uh... Well, if he had the means to pay for the treatment, I would assume him to be a very smart young man, so I would gladly hear him out and do my best to understand his decision. You're dodging the question. I'm merely pointing out how unfair it is. It's always easy for rabble-rousers to say, what if it was your kids? But in truth, this conversation has been going on for hundreds of years. When the cybernetic revolution came about, there were people saying that we were all doomed, that we've gone too far. A hundred years ago, a transgender person would be shunned as a misfit and a freak of nature, which thankfully seems outlandish by today's standards. There will always be people out there who fear change. But what if we reach a point where the rabble-rousers, and thanks for that, by the way, will be right? Is there a limit? Is gene splicing it? Yeah, so that, that is confirmation that they at least uh, did have that kind of thing in mind. I did look up the uh, the gender thing that we were talking about yesterday. It's not quite as exciting as it as it appeared on the on the front. It's a little more straightforward than it uh, than it immediately appeared. Um, because all, like, male-presenting characters were, like, A number. And then all the female-presenting characters are, like, B number. So it's, like... And I guess that range is 1 to 3 for each. So there's, like, A, 1, 2, 3, B, 1, 2, 3. What those 1, 2, 3 means is not obvious. <laughs> or or clear or clarified in any way. But, but yeah. So it's not, it's not as broad as it appeared, but... That being said, if there's A and B, there could be more that are just not presented in the game, hypothetically. Um, and it's, you know, you don't know what... We don't know what the 1, 2, 3 means, so who knows. Uh, where was I? Um, is Gene Spicing? Yeah, a very wise man once said that for us to be afraid of genetic research was akin to the ancient Chinese being afraid to fly kites because one day they might be crashing planes. I believe the sentence to be true even today. In terms of shaping our genome, we have barely scratched the surface. And yet it's being promoted as a hot new trend. We're seeing teenagers risk their lives by making these ir irreversible changes. Not at BGNA. We only treat consenting adults. That's all well and good, but the technology's out there, isn't it? The cat's out of the bag. Come on. Come now, Tom. Are we really going to make me use the guns don't kill people argument? I'm only wondering if you think it's responsible to promote it as a fashion statement. Please, you said it yourself. The treatment is irreversible and does involve a degree of risk, albeit small. Do you really actually think anyone would make a life-altering decision of that cal caliber on a whim? You keep using the word treatment. Why? Because that's precisely what it is. Not really, though. I mean, it doesn't treat any illness. Of course it does. Frankly, I'm a bit shocked to have to explain this to you, Tom. When you speak of illnesses, you're clearly thinking of purely physical ail ailments. I'm not certainly not trying to offend you, but I think it's fair to call that mindset medieval. So you're saying turning someone into a genetic hybrid is a form of psychotherapy? I'm saying that anything that helps a person feel at home in their body should not be instantly discarded. So we should just jump in with both feet? Is there no place for healthy skepticism? I rarely find skepticism healthy. More often than not, it's a refuge for the prejudiced and the closed-minded. All I can ask for is not to not vilify that which we do not understand. Do you consider yourself a prophet of change? I consider myself tired. It's been a very busy week. In that case, I'll let you rest. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for having me. Okay. We got some emails. Grocery list. Hey, managed to nab a new client. Guy's interested in pre-war transmitting equipment, and he's got the dough to pay for it. Doesn't need to be mint, but it has to be in working condition. Here's a list of what he's looking for. A B8X antenna, a Nemosynth dual-mounted receiver, the bulky industrial one, not one of them consumer models. 
a VGX4 encoding chip, Vitalia IFP fusion batteries, as many as you can find. I'm counting on you, buddy. Don't screw this up, Rob. Rob. Because this guy was Vincent? Victor. Yeah, it was, who's Rob then? Wait, so, wait, hold on. Okay, so yeah, this next one is Relay, this batch, is to Victor from Rob. Does that mean that this is from Victor to Rob? Or, sorry. Oh, wait, no, I guess this is the same way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Rob sending Victor another email. Which means that Victor is also doing this stuff all right relay this batch victor the parts you sent me last week were fucking useless i managed to salvage the antenna but the receiver was busted beyond repair and the rest was rusted all to hell where do you even get this stuff did he dig it out of the fucking trash needless to say the client's not paying for this crap i had to offer him a discount on my premium stuff just to keep us in business you're in thin fucking ice my furry friend you pull a stunt like that again you'll have to look for a new dealer rob okay so rob's his like dealer uh, please stop. Victor, this freakish charade, charade needs to stop. Now. Mom and Dad are terrified, and I don't blame them. The whole gene splicing obsession is one thing, but the packages you've been sending them? Oh, okay, so Rob is his brother or something? Whatever you think they did to you, this is fucking cruel and unusual. Vic, you're my brother, and I'll love you even if you decide to grow an extra leg and a set of horns. But please, leave Mom and Pop out of it. If you want them to accept you for who you are, just talk to them. Help them understand. I know you're not delusional, so please, get back to your family. We're not your enemies. Hoping to hear from you soon. Onk? Wait, okay. Okay, so, Ro yeah, Rob is the dealer, and then Anka, or Anka, is his brother. Brief favor. Hey, buddy, I got your message. Frankly, I couldn't, it couldn't have come at a worse time. These past few months have been pretty hard. Eliza's out of a job, again, and with a baby on the way. So I've been pulling double shifts to save up some dough. We want to have the little one spliced as soon as it gets here? Uh, in other words, sorry, but I just don't have that kind of money. It's not that I don't trust you. I know you pay me back. I just can't help you this time. Hope you'll figure something out. Hang in there, Matt. P.S. Ain't your parents rich or something? I hear they moved to a B district. Can't you just ask them for a loan? Okay. Bree, I'm coming for you. Dear sir, we at Ballard Genetics and Augmentations are deeply saddened by the fact that you are unsatisfied with the results of your gene splicing therapy. BGNA employs only the best experts in their field and uses state-of-the-art equipment in order to meet all of our patients' needs. However, we fully acknowledge our patients' right to have immensely high expectations, even if, objectively speaking, they would be found unrealistic. While we're unable to provide you with the specific de details regarding your treatment, we would like to remind you that in cases requiring the use of genetic material from extinct species... In this case, Canis lupus. Yeah, so he got spliced with wolf DNA. Our experts compose unique strains obtained, f which I guess are extinct, because <laughs> this is like post-apocalypse. Our experts compose unique strains obtained from our gene library. Unfortunately, we're not able to provide you with a list of donor species or to confirm slash deny whether a given species was used in the procedure. We would also like to remind you that the aforementioned facts were stated in no uh, uncertain terms in the pre-procedural contract. Finally, we feel obliged to inform you that malicious DNA tampering is a very serious accusation, one that should not be leveled lightly, unless one has strong evidence to support their claim. Any unfounded accusations against BGNA made publicly or in further co correspondence will be seen as slanderous and met with decisive legal action. Sincerely, BGNA patient support. So yeah, he got he got spliced with wolf DNA to become a werewolf. Um, and he was unhappy and thought that it was tampered with to some extent somehow okay uh doc okay we got some documents let's work from the top down okay so this is like the uh well i mean i assume he wanted to become the big bad wolf because that was like what was in all of his dreams and stuff so this is like the surgery Things. I'm assuming this is like a rendering of what it should look like, or maybe what he becomes. And then there's his arm. And then that's giving him dog legs, which he had. 
And then that's showing his extended ears and his wolf claws. Yeah, well, he didn't have... I don't think he had that much fur, but maybe he did, and I just didn't really notice it. Okay, so yeah, I mean, these are... Oops, I didn't mean to back out of there. Although, I guess that was it. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, I wonder what he was claiming was not present that he was complaining about. He came to me again. The man from the looking glass. His voice is soothing, like leaves rustling in the wind. He's the only one who understands. The only one who cares. He made me see what I was lacking, what I must do. But what he's asking, am I strong enough? Of course I am. That's the coward Victor talking again. Enough talk, ugly human words. Hurt my throat! I can barely get them out anymore! It's time to act! Okay. Animal tissue. Putrefactive bacteria detected. Yeah, he wanted to be like a full on wolf man. Oh wait, are those maggots coming out of its neck? Is that what I'm looking at? Oh, this is gonna be the head, isn't it? Under this nice little cloth here. There it is. No. Oh, God. No. This can't be happening. It's not fucking happening. Question is. I can't actually scan it. Oh, but I can see that there. Uh, Adam Lazarski. Deceased. This made time of death 254 minutes ago. Person of special corporate interest. Metal mouse button to connect. Fuck it. Can you trust a voice coming out of a severed head? Or not coming out of the severed head? Telling us not to connect to the severed head? Uh, so we got some... Got some Latin there. In this elevator, I assume. Uh, press to start security scan. Access granted. Name, Adam Lazarski. Chief Research Officer. Chiron. It's got a 
couple birds up there. sound in the background, screams. Hey, Emily. This seems fine. Chiron, main data storage. She can access. We got some things there. We got cameras of that. Alright, well, let's access, I guess. Oh, interesting. It says right mouse button to quit, as it normally does, but I actually... Good. Also, I guess the password wasn't one. Okay, so I can turn on a TV. Got a little burner there, a little office chair that's like awkwardly in the corner behind the bed. Uh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say I couldn't crouch, but I actually can. Uh, what? Okay. Welcome to Ada's memory protection system. You see this because you want to see things that I don't want you to see. Please sit tight and enjoy your last ride. Ready? Steady. Die. <laughs> Watch your head. What? Oh, oh shit, what? Okay. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? Seem that bad. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, oh. I got hit again. Fuck. Three, two, one. Start. What? Oh, okay. Got like a runner. Okay, now we're in a different scenario. Why is that? This is very, very bizarre. But I don't know, we're trying to break through some, some security here. It seems like a good thing, ultimately. Ow. Yeah, if he's got a firewall on his head, why? Seems like something we probably want to know about, right? What's he trying to keep from us? Oh. 
Oh shit. Um. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. Oh shit, what? Okay. just happened, okay. That's a dead end, shit. Wait, what am I looking at there? Wait, did it die? What? What killed it? It is dead. Oh, wait, did it get hit by a car, just like we did? Administer medication. Eventually we'll stand up here. Uh okay. achievement unlocked. It's a trap. Yes. Alright. So why is the head gone? Oh, it's on the ground. Got it. <laughs> Human head. No life signature detected. Interestingly, I don't seem to be able to scan its compass implant anymore. I like how the head was on, like, on a stick. Like that. Okay, cool. So, with that in mind, let's look at our uh, objectives. The person claiming to be Adam mentioned a place called Sanctuary. If there's any chance he's there, I need to find it. Okay, so let's get out of here, I guess. Why did that door just open for us? There's that cage that we saw earlier. Yeah, it was just labeled it. Well, I don't think we couldn't scan it before. We scanned the compass before, which is what said that it was Adam. But the head was not scannable before. But we can't scan the compass anymore. I don't know if it exploded or something as a result of us connecting to it, but why do these like appear to be interactable? Maybe the power is gonna go out and we'll have to come back here to reactivate it at some point? I do like all these different, like, I guess I can see normally, all these different vision filters, like, the different ways we can scan and, and look at the world. Good. Totally normal and fine. Anything down here? I seem to be able to come down here. It looks like I need to kind of. I'll probably be zigzagging between adjacent tunnels. Right, light here. Can't open that. Be 
like we're gonna be getting a, another glimpse of that big boy here like any second now okay yeah so this is looking a lot like Christmas by which I mean it looks a lot like the switches we saw earlier so my guess is electrical switch great it's exactly what I thought it was but I'm guessing Oh, it's a big boy. Who is not there now. Okay. Back we go, I guess. Is that gonna let us through here? Oh, yes. Yes, it did. I thought that light over the door might change to green, although oddly it looks like it's reflecting green. So I don't know what's up with that, but Okay, over here we're gonna find one of those cards. It's Lynn Lynn Swanson? Sven Svenson? Second now I can see it coming. Lights started flickering and stopped. Gonna be behind here. Nothing yet. <laughs> oh, they are certainly keeping the uh, the tension high right now. Okay, that seems a little little bright. We're making it outside. Oh, I, like looking at here. Why is this so fucking bright? Why is it so fucking bright? We're in like another cloud of brightness like we were seeing yesterday. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a bug. Uh, all right, we found sanctuary, I guess. Also, wait, did we make it out of that apartment complex then? Was it not not so secure actually? I guess we did drop down into uh, into the sewers or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. This is the back of the. Uh, this is the back of the the, the tattoo parlor. Because we actually, this, these are the those trash bins alongside it. I feel like there's probably a, another one of those collectible cards around here somewhere. Oh wait, what's back here? Kinda surprised there wasn't. Yeah, well I kinda get the impression pigeons are like one of the few things that are still alive. There's the card that I was looking for. Who knows what it says, because we're in like one of these mysterious cubes of enlightenment. Like 
whatever the fuck is going on. I'm like fairly convinced those are bugs when we encounter those, but I don't know. Alright. Made a sanctuary. It looks like some sort of VR salon. Okay. No sign of Adam so far. I better look around. This looks like a VR salon? Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, okay, we got some... Uh, Virtual, virtual railings there. Can't get through there. Can I scan these in any way? Oh, that was odd. Because what this actually looks like to me is a, a church. A church where they've like knocked out most of the floor for though for some reason to make like an ominous bridge interact with that Like the front of an old radio there. And like a dashboard, maybe, of a car and some gauges? More of this old radio. This is a Commodore 64? Fascinating. Yeah, okay. There, there's just straight up some Commodore disk drives. Although, interestingly, it looks like they scrubbed out the second O there to, like, maybe make it slightly less obvious. <laughs> uh, okay. So we can't interact or scan any of this stuff. So I guess let's interact with the TV. Can't. No, I can't do anything with that. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Sanctuary Salon. Please state your full name. Uh, what for? Where am I? Or I can just actually say my name. What is this place? Sanctuary Salon. Established 2074. The salon offers top quality virtual reality experiences expertly crafted to meet our customers' needs. Sanctuary, your safe refuge in an unsafe world. What, what do you for? need my name for? Customer name is needed in order to confirm a reservation. All right. Daniel Lazowski. Identity confirmed. Subscription status active. Thank you, Mr. Lazarski. Your capsule is ready. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I, I didn't really... I obviously didn't recognize what these were, but... Interesting. So these are like capsules that you get into, and then these are like your, your VR pod. So hypothetically, these other ones could have people in them. I see. Interesting. Uh, all right. Hi, Ronnie. 
Incorporated. That was odd. Uh, all right. So yeah, it, like, acknowledges that I'm trying to switch view modes, but it doesn't. I probably need to go towards the big ominous tree there, but I want to look at what these trees are. Like, what is this texture on them? Just like a weird red... What? Wait, where is the... Oh, there it is. Weird red whatever. This tree is made of tubes. It's like the internet. Ominous TV screen, ominous pulsing. Hunting? What? When I was a child, you'd sometimes wake me up before dawn. We'd go down to the river and we'd watch the sunrise together. Oh, I see. <laughs> it be clear just enough that we could see the mountains. No, it never happened. Of course. But we kept trying, didn't we? Hiding from Chiron or working for Chiron? two options. Well, let's... I assume it would be, why are you hiding from Chiron, or why are you... Why... Are you working for Chiron? I know you were working for Chiron. How are they involved in all this? In all the wrong ways. I have to admit, you were right about the corporation. At the end of the day, all that matters to them is the bottom line. Research the killer and the victims. I still don't see how the splicer fits into all this. He doesn't. That's why we didn't see him coming. He was an unforeseen factor. A convenient tool. Okay. Helena saved your research and smuggled it out of car. Yeah. You got her killed. Yes, and I'm here too. He wasn't a part of the plan, but I had to. The project was too important, Dad. What about the surgeon? What was his angle? Yeah, Jack. He admired what I was trying to accomplish. Actually, I think he wanted to be me. Okay. What were you working on? Imagine if all your thoughts, your memories, everything that defines you could be transferred into a digital realm. To exist long past your physical body. Beyond limitations. Beyond sickness and death. Beyond being human. Just to keep existing. It sounds like a living nightmare. You haven't changed, have you? I knew you wouldn't understand. But you will. Soon. I promise. How did you end up like this? When did you become this digital ghost? Splicer came for me. I had to improvise. I managed to get out before it was too late, hoping they couldn't follow me into the web. But they could. They came after me with Wait. a virus. Hunter killer algorithm. It's eating through my defenses. If they break down, I'll be gone for good. How can we stop it? We can't. I tried masking my signature, but it was too late. I could bust out of the building's internal network. I might be able to outrun it. So we need to lift the damn lockdown. 
The source of the signal is well protected. It's like the mother of all firewalls. Which gives us only one option. Emmanuel Overbrang. That's where you come in. Um. So what I was just realizing is this is more along the lines of Boz and Omicron than I even realized with the whole uploading into into the internet. And I think they even used the term digital ghost in that game. The source. Where does the signal come from? I couldn't pinpoint the exact location, but I narrowed it down. It seems to have originated in the adjoining building. The high rise? Yeah. I think it's the epicenter of all this madness. The signal appears to be coming from the upper levels. And Dad? Watch your step. Chiron still has control over that place. And you. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what you think. The more you struggle, the harder they try and get into your head. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Darkest before dawn. Which reminds me. Once you get out, follow the light. So another thing is his text is green. Every every other character is just like regular text. I mean, maybe this is subtitles being a spoiler. But wasn't there a voice in um in fact, I think it was described as digital voice in uh the killer's dream that was like guiding him? Okay, follow the light. I need to lift this damn lockdown. It's my only chance to save what's left of my son. The source of its signal is coming from an old hotel towering over the building. Heading there now. So wait, is my... Oh, I guess I'm fine. So yeah, there's nothing... Oh, can I go back here? But I, I guess the other thing that I was... I don't think I actually said it, but I was thinking it, and what, that's what led me there is, I believe that that digital voice was subtitled in green also. Oh, hotel. Keep in mind also that I guess this digital atom told us not to go into the head of human atom. Why would he say that? Digital elevator. This is a... This is a... This is a fucked up. What the shit? <laughs> also, I, I want to go back... I almost want to go back down because I want to go outside because... I don't think there was anything up here. Also, this is now Chiron? Can interact with this. We've got ourselves a card there. Half of a face for some reason, and my stream just shit itself, and it should be back. It's weird how this is red, also. Like, why does this. Where is this red coming from? Is this supposed to be red light?
Anyway. What? Okay. So that didn't do anything. no door on that side okay <sighs> all right also wait what wasn't this supposed to be like a hotel is this still a hotel this is it the source of all this madness whatever caused the lockdown is lurking within no turning back now I suppose I don't know. Given given that that apartment building was like it was, I suppose I don't know that this isn't what an apartment looks like, or a, a hotel looks like in this world. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't try this getting out of the simulation, but I just realized I still can't go into uh, my other view modes, my scan modes. I think I'm still in that VR simulation. Which also makes sense why... Uh, why this hotel can exist in a space that I'm fairly confident didn't actually exist. Get a dead body here and yeah, I guess this is like a capsule hotel basically. So we got some nanophage. Remove your implant. Digital decay. So we've got a quarantine thing here, but of course, theoretically, we are in a an actual quarantine zone, at least based on that dead body. But, no, there it is gonna say where's the uh yeah how come some of these come up so much closer to the camera than other ones um i was wondering if that was gonna be there is someone out there help me please Oh. Uh, that's not ominous at all. She seems very flat there. What's going on here? Why are you people in capsules? They locked us in. Those bastards. We're not even sick. Let us out. How do I open the capsules? I think there's a control room nearby. Just follow the light. I'll do what I can. If you can't help me, please. My son is still out there. His father has gone insane, delirious. I'm afraid he might do something to our boy. You can't let that happen. If I can find him, I'll get him out. Follow the light is the most ominous statement and guidance we can ever be provided. What did you say? Wait, yeah, what did she actually say? You've always been such a good boy. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that this opened. Okay. Yeah, we still can't do that. The screen was pulsing a little bit there.
you're crying. Some uh, ominous groaning and grunting. Also, keeping my eyes open with all these things here, I'm, I'm expecting there to be another uh, another one of those collectibles. was coming from. Oh, we got another body here. Can't do anything with it. door in this very not normal building. I want this entire floor burnt. Sir, some of the patients are still symptom free. For now, we need to cut our losses. I'm not losing all my subjects out of some misguided sense of empathy. Okay, so there's some doctor who wants to just kill everyone. Sure, I guess. Just got an auto save <sighs> into this ominous tunnel. Oh, good. Okay, so is he just, just patrolling in a circle? Because I think this is just a ring. Past that. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop some of this bad boy. Strain level decreased. Oh shit. Uh wait, what? Um, but yeah, I I was noticing the flickering on screen, and it didn't actually reduce that. Because that might be the VR headset or whatever glitching out to some extent. ordered. Nice. Okay, so there he comes. 
bombs. Now, if they, if they were assholes, uh, they would have had him turn around, but. Uh, that's odd. I feel like I shouldn't be able to see up there, but okay. Follow the light, so to speak. way I'm assuming this is where we want to go okay I think we made it through there at like the same terminal Okay, that was a game over. For the fact that it like continued after we got absorbed. It was like, wait, is this actually? Oh, I guess I have to re-engage this. that she called us Danny? Wait, shit, is that? No, that was just tubes. Follow the light, right? Yeah, no one's called us that. Because we've never introduced ourselves as that, only as Dan. A 
quick save. Alright, we are in the meat zone once again. Yeah, because we have these observer implants and s stuff. Okay. Is this, this is game over again, isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe this time I was intended to be eaten. Okay. There must have been a misunderstanding. I was told you decided not to undergo the augmentation procedure. Yes. Just to be clear. You That's a Dan's wife. That, that drastically decreases your chances of recovery. I, I made my decision. Thank you. Honey, I'm proud of you. You can do this. I know you can. I'll be there for you. You owe me this much. Promise me. You'll take care of him, whatever it takes. That night you and Mom argued, after you left, Mom was very sad. I asked her what was wrong, and she said the doctors could cure her, but she wasn't sure if she wanted them to. It's not that simple. What the doctors wanted to do, there was a, a heavy price to be paid. She wouldn't be herself. She wouldn't be your mom anymore. That's not what I'm asking. I want to know. Did mom decide for herself? Did she really want this? Of course she did. Your mother believed she was strong enough to beat this thing on her own. I did too. But she wasn't. I just wanted her to be all right. Why didn't you save her? <laughs> it should have been you. So she was sick or injured or something and opted to not get augmentation Jesus. to There's barely anything left fix it. Can he hear us? Yes, but he's very weak. Please make this brief. Dad, it's it's pretty bad. They need to replace a few parts. We're getting robocopped. You're such a fucking. 
being a hypocrite and you don't even see it. I thought I was right. So he was pissed at us because we opted to get augmentations. But she didn't want them. Augmentations to survive. She didn't want them. Are we back in control? Yes. Okay. Okay. So now we're in, like, fucking cyberspace here. Let's see what appears to be a big old tentacle monster. Straight up ahead. Can't run either. Is it coming? Oh, it is coming towards. Oh, it's a head? that the virus won't be able to penetrate. Let's say I let you in. Then what? Oh, it's amazing. Our minds will merge. Merge? Yeah. It might sound weird, but our minds kind of hook up. We plug into each other. Sorry, you lost me. You are losing me. Your sanity's hanging by a thread, Dad. But I can help you regain control of your senses. We can help each other. How can I trust you? I can't trust you anymore. You lied. Have it your way. It's still up to you. Save us both. And leave me to die and go on with this fever dream of existence. Either way, since tonight, I'm growing weaker by the second. Soon, I won't be able to maintain a connection. I'm assuming that if I interact with that, I choose to... I don't... I don't think I want to save him. Fuck this kid. I 
wonder if I have to click on that. Or if it's just a wait scenario. Because I can't move, and there's nothing else for me to interact. Alright, I'll click on it, I guess. So yeah, so he uploaded his consciousness, but obviously as as with the classic the classic sci-fi trope of who is the real one and who especially with like when you are duplicating a mind who gets to choose whether that mind continues to live or not or live or not. Killed all those people. The others have to die. I couldn't let any word of this rich kind. They would stop at nothing to track me down. Way to cover your ass. I can do what you want. But you know the poor place. They would claim this gift for themselves. I want to share it with them. I regret what I had to do. But it was necessary evil. Gonna wait until this seems to have stabilized. Because it's not stable right now. It's sending no bites, and now it looks like it's coming back. Okay. Uh, alright. Let's end this. Tired. Let's get this over with. Don't worry about it, Blast. Just a giant cyber head. Embrace Adam or reject Adam. I don't, I don't trust this Adam. Cause this is like psychopath Adam. Uh, I want to reject My son Adam. Is gone. I'm not sure anymore who or what you are, but you will pay for what you did. That's disappointing. See 
I regret it must end this way. You see, without a willing host, I need to force you out. Fortunately, I have found a better place for you. Sorry, Dad. You just yoinked her body. Also, our battery's low. Yeah, yeah, Don't worry. Dan was not exactly young. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. All the jails is gonna fix you up. Wait, what? <laughs> so one, why does he seem to, I guess, to fix these drones? So he put us into this drone, but now we're in his body, I guess. And I, like, our vision's just wildly fucked because this guy clearly does not have a uh, good, oh, and he's like limping. Does not have good implants. Go a little bit faster. Okay. So he was saying something about down has now been lifted. Thank you for your cooperation. Here you are. The situation is under control. Oh, and now we are dead. <laughs> Yeah, sort of ourselves. Achievement unlocked. A death in the family. Case log updated also at the end there. Okay, so that game was fucking wild. The ending was a little bit abrupt, but like, I don't know. I think it, it got to its point. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we can continue from before that choice. Because the, th the problem is that there's no, there's no like explicit save system. It's auto saves only. Um, so the question is whether how how generous they are with with letting you go back after you finish the game. I'm hoping that it will uh, it'll let us continue and it'll just be like right at the end there. But yeah, that game is that game is excellent. I liked that a lot. And this was what, the third stream? So we finished this in... Uh, that was six and a half up to yesterday because yesterday was a half hour longer. So like six and a half, so eight hours roughly. And yeah, Rucker Hauer was actually the voice. Dialogue coach for Rucker Hauer. It's weird. And yeah, I looked I looked it up, and so this was originally released in 2017, and then they re-released it with this system Redux version uh, last year, I think, on on for PS5 and, and Xbox. One? No, not Xbox One. What the fuck is the new Xbox called? I don't even know. Um, I don't know, whatever the fuck the new Xbox is, uh, we released it for those, and, and PC, obviously. But yeah, it, like, I... It was interesting because it felt like a game where they could have put, like, shooting segments and stuff in, but I appreciate that they just didn't. Like, it was just, it was just entirely, like, walking around and talking to people and investigating things. Which was a very nice change of pace from what it could have been, right? Like, because I don't think that would have been better if there were, like, segments where we had to, like, uh, fight the, fight the, uh the killer, the werewolf man, but like, ridiculous. Oh, and they actually had like a tattoo artist. Extracts from blah, Wonder Bomb brand air refresher is used as set dressing in a scene? What? Okay. Use models of Benjamin. Oh, okay, that's like someone that they got models from. Is it gonna be an after credit scene, or is it just back to the menu? Looks like it's just back to the menu. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay. Observer System Redux is a definitive form of our idea for Cyberpunk, harsh and dystopian. It's the symbolic finale of the journey that we had the privilege of starting with a legendary actor and an icon of the genre. Your opinion about the game is important to us. Okay, so they're just asking us to review. Uh, we will maybe later. Fuck. Oh, wait, load game? Okay, here we go. Auto save 522. Yeah, so that's probably hiding section. Yeah, so let's go to this most recent untitled save. This might be a little bit before the ending, but Adam is alive or at least part of him is conscious, blah, blah, blah. Dan makes his way to the source of the lockdown signal. Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's uh let's just blast through this and and accept Adam instead and see what see what that looks like. Definitely very normal and good. Okay, well, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you lied, blah, 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 the host. Okay, I trust you. I think we have to go through all these dialogue options. I 
I think this is the shot that I like the most, where his face is like peeled back to like a weird cyber skull. I see. Okay, no, we did see this before. I don't. I don't think I entirely saw what this was showing me, but yeah. You killed yourself. I'm in the ration that in the red. Which one of the owner killed the real? He killed Doug. You're fucked. I am. Blah 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 blah. You tried to kill me. Why did they recruit him? Let's end this. Okay, so now we want to embrace Adam and see what the fuck the other ending is. I want. I can't believe there isn't a part of Adam that is part of you. That's true. I won't let you die. Whatever it takes, I guess. Hey, you. Look down. I know, Janice. It's been taken care of. Called uh, your people. Should be here in a minute. Thank you. I'll take over from here. You can get back to your post. He's not who he says he is. Janus, help me. Don't let him leave. Uh, okay. You good? Huh? Yeah. Just a slight glitch. I'll take care of it. Ah, little ones. <laughs> Worse. All they spell tra tra trouble. Don't I know it? So we are not in control. The sun will come up soon. We'll get to see it together again. No worries. We'll get used to this. We have all the time in the world. Achievement unlocked, the prodigal son. So that ending is not much better. <laughs> that ending also seems bad. Uh, until this meat sack decays, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, I'm seeing some names here that I actually recognize from some of those cards that we picked up. So yeah, those were devs, as I, as I suspected. That makes sense. But yeah, so it seems like that ending, um, he just takes over our body with us in it instead of kicking us out uh, so that seems bad too no neither option is good but but I think that yeah that's in line with the whole cyberpunk dystopian future vibe like I think it, it kind of feels bad but like that's that's what makes the most sense for the genre really like and I mean also in a certain in a certain way, this is kind of like, like, I don't know, film noir, I guess. Uh, where, like, you know, it's not really a good ending. It's just kind of like, it's just how shit goes, I guess.
Yeah, so that game was exceptionally good. I like that a lot. That's gonna be a hard one to, uh, to live up to, I guess. Because... I don't know if, I don't know if it would be possible to top something like that. Um, now, looking at calendar. So tomorrow's randomizer. And then we got, what, one, two, three, four more streams before actual Halloween. It's, it's worth going back and watching the VODs, I would say, like, for sure. Because this game was fucking wild all the way through. So four more streams. So I'm going to need to find another spoopy game to, to throw into the mix here. And I'm sure there's stuff that I missed. Like, I, I'm certain I didn't see and do everything. I mean, obviously, there's all the other paths of the of the side quests that I did. Um, like, what if we had let that uh, woman merge with the kid? Or it probably wouldn't have been much of a difference if we had let the 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 pig thing uh, live. But what other side quests did we have? I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like we didn't entirely resolve that sex bot thing because, like. They seemed to be conscious. I think the pig wouldn't have been a big difference because it was just kind of like, okay, it died. I think that's more just of a just a morality choice of your own that you get to make. Maybe there would have been an achievement for going the other way also. I don't know if I got an achievement for killing it either. Um, but yeah, like there's a lot of stuff in this game. So, so yeah, I don't know. I... Yeah, like, cause the sex bots, I, I think I must, I think I might have missed something there, maybe, or maybe, maybe that was just the resolution. It's just like, oh, yeah, you come to the realization that the sex bots are actually sentient, and, uh, what are you going to do about it, <laughs> I guess, like, I don't know, or I guess they're AI. Which, I guess, sentient AI, but... Just very strange. <sighs> Alright, um... So I guess that's this game. Uh, I don't think there's anything else, like, to look at. We saw both the endings. We got 34 out of 76 collectibles. Which are like, I assume that these are, like, photoshopped over pictures of their faces and they didn't, like, actually do makeup for these. Oh, wait. I just realized that they have... Oh, wait. Wait, what? Hold on. Also, this guy's apparently an adult entertainer. Uh, they have dates of birth and some of them were, like, 2023. And I saw one... This one's, like, 2011. Which is, like, real fucking early compared to when this game was set. But I guess... I guess it's not impossible, because it was like 2084, so I guess these people would be like 70-something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll stop there. Uh, tomorrow is Randomizer Sunday, so we will um, start a new Randomizer. I actually don't know what is in the lead. So, so yeah, so we'll be starting some new Randomizer tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, and we'll start some spoopy game that I don't even know on uh, on Tuesday. I don't know what I will figure out, but I'll figure out something. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and good night, I guess.